love, I would love to introduce myself. Um, my name is Irene Rodriguez. I'm a principal dancer, choreographer, teacher, and director of a professional dance company. I used to be a professional dance company for many years. I come from Havana, Cuba. That, I'm really sure to that. Do you hear me? No, okay. no, okay, thank you. Um, you know, many many people know Cuba. There is Cubans here, except my mom. Okay, <laughs> but I, I would love uh, to tell you a little more about me and my career. And let's start from the beginning. I start dancing ballet when I was a little girl. I really was, you know, passionate about dance and art. And my mom she enrolled me in ballet because she danced ballet when she was young. But one day my ballet teacher came downstairs and asked for my mom. And my mom said, Yes, it's me. Uh, she asked, Is this your daughter? Uh, she said, Yes, it is. She said, uh, Okay. Um, but my mom said, Yes, but my daughter is not enrolled in ballet. In, in, in Spanish dance, she's enrolled in ballet. And the, the Spanish dance teacher said, okay, she has been escaping to my lesson for three months now, so you owe me some money. <laughs> because I used to escape from my public lessons and go to the Spanish dance lessons in the next studio. This, is, this was the, that was the beginning of my passion for Spanish dance. <laughs> so I studied ballet and I studied Spanish dances together in Cuba. And of course, I can't wait. And immediately I start dancing with Professional dance company Cuban Aided Ballet Español de Cuba as a soloist. So, with 18, I was a teacher, I was a principal dancer, I used to travel all around dancing around the world, um, you know, developing the Spanish dance and creating my own style and choreography. So, in 2011, I decided to open my own company, and many of the dancers that used to be in the other company, they decided to follow me. And we create the Compañía Irene Rodriguez. In Spanish, it's like Irene Rodriguez Company. So fortunately, that company became really uh, famous, and we had the opportunity to perform here in the United States at the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington, in, yes, in Washington, at the Joy Theater many times in New York City. Um, Jacob Spillow Dance Festival, that is the most important dance festival in the U.S. Uh, all California, uh, Chicago, uh, working with a documentary for the PBS channel, very, very uh, good documentary about Havana and the artists in Havana. So after that, I decided two years and a half ago, uh, escaping from the political conditions in Cuba and looking for freedom and, you know, the, the, the great future that this country gives the opportunity to have to all the people that work hard. My mom, that she, she's that lady that is in that table, she came with me and we moved first to San Diego in California for uh, some contracts I had there, but the COVID hit us and we stayed there for one year and a half almost and now only four months ago we moved to Tampa with many friends and of course Linda and Mark Sena has been so close friends and so they have welcomed me, us, in an incredible way introducing us to all the people, so special people in the city like De La Costa and Irene and all of you. So I really appreciate their help. How they, they, they know me is because they are part of the board, the board of the Jacob Spill Dance Festival in Massachusetts. So they saw me dancing there in 2017 and 2019, and we start, you know, connecting and you know in communication. And when I let the, the board of the Jacob Spill know I was thinking to move to Tampa, of course immediately in that uh, welcomed me and was very, very happy to help me to, to know the city and to know everybody. I'm not only a, a, a dancer, I'm graduated 
um, in arts. I have a master degree in dance in the Instituto Nacional de Artes in Cuba, so the Art Institute in Cuba. I have the the cruz of the the cruz. How do you say in English? In English, cruz, right? Of the King of Spain is the biggest uh, recognition for arts outside Spain is for people in other parts of the world that really develop and they con contribute, contribute to the Spanish cultures outside Spain. Uh, I have this honor that the King of Spain of, you know, gave, gave me that uh, in 2018. Um, I have another uh, recognition. So I have the, uh, the award for the best uh, choreography in the Certamen Iberoamericano de Coreografía in 20, 20, 2012. Uh, I won that. It's the best choreography award in the world given by Spain, by the way. So for me, it was two awards at the same time. Um, because it recognized, you know, the award for a Spanish dance company. Um, I have the honoris causa uh, in the University of Guadalajara in Mexico, and many other awards about my interpretation, like Frida Kahlo in 2016, um, many other award recognitions in Cuba and, and outside. So now, in the city, I'm working with the Strass Center for the Performing Arts as a choreographer and as a teacher since uh, July. And I'm choreographing for the students two pieces, one for them, one, one of them to perform in the Nutcracker on December, and the second one to be part of a YAGP competition, that is the, the best ballet competition in the country. And our students in the Strass will show some of their works, and one of them, the ensemble, the biggest ensemble they will show will be mine, will be a choreography of myself. So I'm very honored. I'm very happy to be in the city. I love the city. Um, it reminds me a lot to Havana in some point, so <laughs> neighborhoods like Ybor City. So I feel like at home, but at the same way, it is giving me many, many professional opportunities. At the same time, I'm doing many other works, uh, like I create a ballet work named Amor Grupo, for the Kansas City Ballet only one month ago, is the biggest uh, ballet work I have done for a professional ballet company in the US. So it was a 30 minutes choreography, uh, named Amor Grupo, of course, uh, using the music, the amazing music of Manuel de Falla. And they uh, premiered this piece uh, 17, 18, last month and it was very, very successful. After that, the next weekend I performed in LA in Laguna Dance Festival and in one week and a half I'm going to perform in the University of New York, of course in New York City. So I have been very busy and I'm very lucky because with this pandemic uh, times, all artists, has, we have been very tough and it has been very hard for us. But even during the, the lockdown, I continue creating by my own, in my backyard, <laughs> in San Diego. Even, I didn't have, of course, any stage, but even with ballet, uh, I, I perform, and you can find in my YouTube channel, uh, Irene Rodriguez Compania, you can find all this video. And many other festivals, like Jacob's Fellow, they commissioned me to work <coughs> Uh, during the lockdown, the Laguna Dance Festival, they commissioned me another work during the lockdown too. And LA Opera, they commissioned me another work that they even invite me to the Music Center, this amazing uh, pavilion, chandelier theater in the Music Center LA. And it was an amazing production with the LA Opera, but it was so sad because I was very happy, but it was so hard for me because I was alone in that huge theater recording this piece that was so dramatic and it helped me a lot because it was very dramatic see all that stage so empty and of course I missed the audience so the first time I performed, performed with a live audience after this lockdown was like 
three weeks ago in, in Laguna Dance Festival in LA. And you can, you can imagine the emotion. And well, I'm here um, working with Strass. I have many dreams to create um, maybe my company again, but for sure perform alone. In January, I have a schedule to perform in the Strass Center again in the more sunny. January 6th, like the guest for the YNGP competition, they always show the students in the competition, but these students are amazing, believe me. And they have some stars guests uh, invited to the final gala, and I have the honor to, to be invited to perform on January 6th at the Strass. But besides that, I would love to create an all a show, a complete performance by myself, and of course, it would be my pleasure to can invite some of the amazing dancers and musicians that we have in this city, that we have many of them, and they deserve uh, another opportunity to show their, their work. So now is the 